Hello, good evening. How is everyone? Well, we are going to do something fun tonight that I've been wanting to do this little, um, I don't want to say it's a mad scientist experiment, but it's not something I use all the time. So I don't know if I technically want to call it a tutorial either, but I'm going to play with the product. And if you want to stay and watch, you certainly can. I think we're going to have some fun. I've used it before. I really like it. Um, but earlier today, you guys suggested that instead of doing tacos, because we've done tacos before, that we make our little half circle instead of doing a taco and a cactus, that we do a cactus and a sunset or a sunshine, which is perfect because I was able to get some icing on this. You can see, let me zoom in. And you can see that I used a brush to create some texture and made it like a sunburst because I have been wanting to try something. So you guys know that I really like sugar art products. Like I really like them. I have tons of them. I like to try all the new colors and all the new things. So I got some of their color solution excuse me, I got some of their color solution at the last cookie con and I've used some of it and I really like it. And I thought, oh, how perfect. I can do this little thing that I saw um, on Instagram on the sugar art page and see if I can get it to work as well as they did because it's so pretty. All right, so let's get going. We're going to jump right in. It's been a crazy day around here, and um, hey, did I tell you guys my good news yet? Did I even say hello? It's been so crazy, I'm at 300 miles an hour. Sorry, <laughs> Damie from Seriously Sweet and Cookie Snack Attack. Um, we're going to do a little tutorial tonight, or a little demo rather, and do we're going to ice some minis. This is our last set of double minis in our month of minis. How funny. Let me say hi to a few more people. Hey, hope everyone is doing well. <laughs> You're on vacation in the Cask. Oh, I bet that's so pretty in the Cascade Mountains. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so is my sound good? You know what? I can't. Um, can you guys see me? I can't tell if you can hear me or see me. So somebody type me some comments. I know you can maybe see down here on this screen, but you can you can see me and hear me. Okay. All right. Usually, remember I told you about that update this morning and how I got the black death of black screen of death on my computer and then it took several times to get it rebooted. Well, I guess in part of that update something in my StreamYard updated, so I can't actually see the part that I normally see to see how strong my streaming is. And there's different icons in the bottom right corner of my computer. So perhaps that was part of this morning. But to say it's been a crazy day is kind of um, understating what's been going on. So we're going to jump right into this and hopefully everybody can just chillax for a couple minutes. Okay. Thank you guys for letting me know. I think it looks okay, right? If you feel like it and you have a minute, take a second and share the stream. That'll get us out there just a little bit further. And maybe some of your cookie friends will come and join us. It'd be so nice. All right. So I just want to announce a couple of things. First of all, the fall 2022 cookie snack attack cookie decorating retreat that we're holding in Snowshoe Mountain is officially closed sold out unless somebody can't come and they need to resell their ticket, which would be between another person and them. And I am keeping a wait list for that, but we officially cannot house any more people. We are full. There will be no more room for cookiers to cookie and no more places for people to sleep. I can't put people in sleeping bags on the porch with the bears. So we're full. Wah! So excited. Uh, that is two months away, just a <coughs> little bit less than two months away, but we've all gotten so excited that we've been blowing up each, each other's phones all day today with 
um, the final bits of planning because we're getting everything done and all the custom imprinted items have been ordered and we're just going to have a fantastic time. So that is done. And did I tell you guys yet? Hey, you coming in? You want to say hi? So did I did I tell you guys yet that I get to be an instructor at Cookie A Thon? So after we finish up tonight, there is a instructor's Zoom meeting. So if you were selected to teach at Cookie A Thon, apparently there was quite a few people that applied. So if you were selected, don't forget, we have an instructor's meeting with Nancy Westfall tonight after um, at 7 p.m. her time, which is central. So it'll be eight my time Eastern. So we're going to do our video and then I'm going to pop over there. I'm so excited for the cookie snack attackers to see what I created for cookie a thon. Um, and a special shout out to Allison. Allison is here. She took my designs and made my first round really need my inhaler guys <clears throat> hey babe babe i don't think he's in there um uh she made my first round of cutters for me and let's just say that this month the month of minis that you guys wanted to see really um inspired the project it really inspired the project, but I went mini, mini, <laughs> not M-A-N-Y, but M-I-N-Y. I went mini dash M-I-N-I, M-I-N-I dash M-I-N-I for something that is 3D. And there's going to be a free bonus tutorial if you do the extended access again so don't sign up until i give you my code and everything when they start selling stuff okay because last time that paid for like four months of all the live streaming expenses you guys were so awesome to go through my link and sign up so um let's see so that's coming up and I don't know what else to tell you tonight, but can I please get started with something so fun here? Um, so I saw a video that Ed and Holly from the Sugar Art did on Instagram. And I was like, oh my goodness, I wonder if I can make mine do that. So they did theirs on chocolate, though, I believe it was a mermaid tail. And they used diamond dust, which let's face it, girls, we have been lacking on diamond dust for the last few projects. I honestly don't know um, how that happened because I like to have it on almost every cookie, but we've been severely lacking in the diamond dust department. So we're going to do the diamond dust and we're going to use some elite colors. And... I wonder, hold on one sec. Um, let me see if I have a, oh, oh, oh yes, I have a sterling pearl out in rose gold. So I'll show you on this icing with the rose gold, which will be so pretty on a sunset. Um, I'll show you something they did with the color solution. Okay, so we'll do the diamond dust, the sterling pearl, and some elite colors. So let me flash this up here so it's part of the video. So just in case there's any questions later about what we actually use tonight, I have a tray set up there, and we're starting over on the left side with blood orange, and then go up clockwise. Then we've got lemon, uh, then the cookie, and then daisy, and then flame. And then that next one around is Tiger Lily, okay? So those are the five colors that we're going to use with the color solution. And then we're either going to use gold or orange in the diamond dust. And now that I know I'm going to test the rose gold sterling pearl, I think we're going to go with, I think we're going to go with the gold for the center. So we'll test all three products on this little cookie with the color solution by the sugar art. Okay. All right. Hold on one sec. Let's take that off. I'm back with you. I'm really excited for you guys to see this because I really liked, um, oh, Mimi, 
You are right. This little mini would be a great, and, or a lime, orange, lemon, or lime slice. That would be so cute with your cactus too. And I do like the color solution as well, Miss Pamela, so much. So that's what we're about to do. But first, just so the little cactus does not feel left out, we're going to go ahead and use some green. Um, this was a emerald green that I added a little yellow to. So it's kind of like the Sibidium sugar art color, okay? I just wanted it to be just a little bit darker for the cactus so that it would really pop tomorrow when I get a photograph out in the sun, okay? So all I'm going to do though, because remember this was month of minis and it was keeping it fast and easy. So we're going to outline and flood this little two, two and a half inch cookie that's a cactus. We're going to outline and flood one consistency, 18 to 20 seconds. It's just a regular royal icing. Um, I guess technically, you guys, I have to start calling my royal icing a royal glaze because I do put corn syrup in my icing. And why did I take the time to mention that? It, because corn syrup, I have learned in several classes that I have taken over the summer, corn syrup in your icing is actually super important for a smoother paint surface on your cookie. So royal icing does true royal icing um, that I've learned through the classes. You know, we all say royal, but we also know that most of us just add in a little bit of corn syrup at the end there as part of our recipes, because we've just learned that it helps with certain things. Right. So when you add the corn syrup, though, it goes from being, a, a true royal icing to a royal glaze and then glaze of course is mostly corn syrup right so anyway i think i need to start calling mine royal glaze because i add more than a little bit hey you're late who's that i'm not going to fuss at you for being late we're just getting started and i'm so glad that i have a working computer so outline and flood i'm going to pop this in the dehydrator but that's all i'm going to do to this tonight now, tomorrow I could come back with just the same color of green or a little bit lighter shade of green, and I could do little dots all over the cactus for the little thorns, but I'm just going to use a black marker tomorrow and make my dots with that so that it's super quick. So you saw how fast that was. A tray of these, you could knock that out in no time. All right, dehydrator's on, it's ready to go, and now the real party is going to start. Hey, Phyllis, how are you? Um, Sheila, a notification. A notification just now came through for the live? I don't know. I don't know why they'd be so delayed. But my computer is working. That part was all on time this evening, but it was not this morning. So I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> so I am going to use this brush tonight. It's soft. I've got a little Everclear here in a mini, mini, a mini, mini shot glass. Okay. I've got my color set up. I've got my color solution. But the first thing we're going to do is this gold because this was so cool. Oh, that's weird. Hey, Kathy, I'm glad you're here tonight. So here's the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to do exactly what they did in the video, okay? They poured theirs on, so I'm just going to undo the topper on this, and I'm going to pour mine in on, on as well. So let's get our color solution set up. I'm just going to give it a shake. I don't know if you have to, but it doesn't look like it separates. Um, oh, I must have two of these now because I know I used some, so I know it was open. I don't know where the open one is, though, so we'll just open this one. So let's just put a little bit of this over here in the well. And this is just a paint palette that I covered with press and seal. And I put the sticky part down into each of the wells so that it'll be easy cleanup when our video is over later. So I'm just going to grab some of that with my brush. Okay. And I'm just going to make in the center. I'm just going to coat this area in the center here. I'm making a, a circle, you know, a half circle, just the center part, like, you know, a button. Like if I had an actual circle in the middle of a full circle cookie, 
So I'm doing um, a half there. Now, let's see. Let's see if this works like it did on their mermaid tail. Put it right on there. Should just adhere right to it. It's looking good to me. Let's put this back in so I don't spill it because, you know, I like my diamond dust. I don't want to waste it. I do not know. Um, to me, it seems a little dark on my computer, but I'm afraid to move the screen. Oh, see, it does. It does stay just like that. That's so funny. Okay, now I'm going to spray it, too, because there's some area not covered. So I'm going to spray and see what happens. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So on wedding dress cookies, I can tell you guys right now, you, you're going to love this if you have wedding dress cookies. But look at how much of that is attached and above the surface by actually pouring it, you know, like tapping it so it fell down over it. So that's going to be the center of our sunshine, okay? Now what we're going to do, we're just going to have some fun. I think what I would like to do next is show you what they did before I get color on my brush officially. I'm going to open up my rose gold sterling pearl, which has the shimmer built in it, right? I'm going to take some more of this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? How pretty would that be is on the lemon slice? Okay, let's get in here just a little bit. So what I'm going to do with this is just pick some areas. I'm just going to pick some areas like this and make streaks. Not going over where the diamond dust is, but like to the side of it, just so the color solution's on there. I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit because I don't know how fast this is going to absorb. Okay. Then I'm going to pick up some of my rose gold. And I'm just going to, oh, it is just like the video where immediately, do you see that shimmer? Immediately when it hits, when you pick it up like that and apply it this way, immediately when it hits that color solution, it's the shimmer part. No, no buffing, no pressure. I mean, I'm barely putting any pressure on this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. All right, so we're going to just leave that as the background part, and now we're going to paint with it. We're going to add the color solution in and awaken the paints, okay? That is so pretty. Can you guys see that okay? Let's go this way a little bit. Look at that, though. I mean, look at that shimmer. It is, it's just like in that little video they did that they did um, the mermaid tail. No, no buffing. Like, look at that. It's pretty, right? Me too. I'm glad you're here. So I'm just going to do a couple more strokes with this to unload some of that rose gold. Then I'll, I'll try. But I mean, it, no buffing, no little swirls to get that shimmer activated. Like as soon as it hit the color solution, it was good to go. All right, let me rinse some of this out. Look at that. How cute. Okay. I'm liking it. All right. Let's take some of the color solution. Put a drop in our daisy. And I think we'll, I think I'll go ahead and um, let it sit in each of the five colors. I don't know that we'll use them all, but at least while I have them out, since they all go together so well, at the very least, I'll show you what they look like on the paper towel. You used it on baby feet transfers. I know, so pretty, Mimi. It's so pretty. We used it this weekend um, in, in our gnome class. We used it on the little toes, which were adorable. All right, I'm going to start with my yellow first. Let's turn this so you guys can see it. So I have the sugar art in there, a little bit of color solution, and I'm just kind of lightening that up. And now what I'm going to do on all of these colors, I'm just going to start at the center and go out and just build my sunburst. And if you want to thin it out, put some more color solution in an empty well, and then you can go back and kind of, let me, let me show you what I mean by that. Let's just do that on this first color because I don't want to do it on all of them. These, this would make beautiful flower cookies too, though, you guys. Can you already like see a sunflower building here? So you would just put your brush in here and kind of work some of that out. And then go back with the color solution and you can kind of feather that color out. 
so it's not so strong if you want to. And I'm just doing rays of sun. I'm not doing fancy painting tonight. That's not my normal thing to do the fancy painting um, for tutorials, but I really, I really wanted you to see this with the colors I had once you guys suggested the sun cookie, the sun to do the um, sun instead of the taco. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit of orange. Can you guys see that? Okay. Grab just a little bit of that. I'll come in here in between all of those. I don't want to leave any white showing down here around this glitter part. So I'm probably going to put this orange part here. I wish I had had some orange diamond dust. Can you believe it? I don't own that color. I don't know how that happened. I just placed an order with them today, though. So we are going to be trying a whole bunch of new colors over the next few months. Like I placed a, a big order of new colors, colors I don't have. All right, now I'm going to get all the color on here. Then I'm going to go back with the color solution and I'm going to blend them all together so they're not so separated. But for now, I want to do it like this because I just want to see what each of these colors look like. I mean, while we're testing, I'm not wild about that one. So um, I'm going to I'm going to only put two strokes of that on there. And I kept it down near the bottom because it's really dark. Let's put a little more in here. I'm still getting used to like how much to put in. This is the tiger, the tiger lily. I like that. I'll put a little bit of that at the bottom for the sunburst. And this one, this last one is blood orange. I just, I ordered it a long time ago and I have not used it yet. I don't think in a video. If I have, I don't remember. So I want to try that out. But all of these are elite colors. Ooh, that's dark. All right. So let's, um, Let's just put a little of that at the bottom and then we're going to go back with color solution and blend all of this. Okay. Just put some out here. That is super, that's a beautiful color, but super dark for the sunrise or sunset or whatever we're doing. So let's get our brush in here, kind of clean some of that out. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Let's put some color solution in here so I have a little bit lighter color to start with. All right, now we're just going to blend these together. You could leave it just like that. It's pretty, but I want to blend it and see what it looks like. Look how pretty that is. No, not taking very long to do it either. It's quick. Do these dark colors first so it's not so harsh. really like that gold in the center though. I think I'm going to spray a little bit all over this part. I won't coat it as heavily as we did the center, that little application trick we did there. But I think I am going to put, let me put some yellow on here. I think I'm going to put some diamond dust on the whole sun. So it's not just that center part. I don't want it to look like a flower head in there. take a little bit of that off. All right, let's just do a little bit so it doesn't look like a flower head in the center. And I think that our sun is done. What do you think, guys? Do you like this? This? Oops. You like that? Look how pretty. It's really nice. So I will report back tomorrow. Um, about how it dries, but I have to tell you that when I very first got it and I tested it out, it dried and I was bagging cookies 12 hours later. Like I didn't have to worry about anything. I didn't have to worry about anything with it. It dried. It looked good. It didn't stick to the bag. None of the color came off. How's that? Hey, Nimrose, how are you? All right. So, um, pretty right Mary Jean with all that shimmer and that rose gold and the diamond dust okay so I'm gonna pop that in the dehydrator and tomorrow I'll probably do a little bit of line art on here to create some points to make it much more noticeable that it's a sun when I do the line art on the cactus um, but how's that for quick and easy um, you could do so many of those so quickly 
Hey, how are you guys doing? So that would go by very fast. So let me show you the colors again. We did lemon. We tested out the color of daisy on there. We tested flame. We tested tiger lily. And we tested blood orange. Now, if I really were going to do a whole tray of these, I would just do two shades of yellow. And I'd probably use a yellow diamond dust. Or I'd do two shades of the orange and use an orange diamond dust. Like we put a lot on a little cookie. But we were testing since we had everything out. I just wanted you to see colors. Um, and for sure, I would do that rose gold using the color solution again. That was gorgeous how easily that went on. And I love that you could just kind of um, uh, wet wash the cookie, I guess, with the color solution. And then sprinkle the diamond dust on like using a pepper shaker. Just shake it on there instead of spraying it. And it built up so quick. It was just absolutely gorgeous. And you should check out the Instagram page for the sugar art and find the video where Holly does the mermaid tail. She uses like, um, I think she uses mermaid diamond dust and mermaid sterling pearl. And you can see the two things beside each other, like on the scales, it's the diamond dust and on the tail, it's the sterling pearl. Um, I believe on white chocolate, that's the only part I'm not sure because it was a while ago that I saw it, um, but check that out. It's super pretty. It should give you some great ideas for summer. You do, Pamela, you use color solution when you do painting. I really like it. I like how it worked there. All right, well... Um, Oh, Mary Jean, this would be a great cookie to do patriotic bunting. And you know what? If you iced it before you did, um, if you iced it and applied the stars, you could use those pretty gold stars or the white stars from Michael's in the sprinkle packets. Um, you could put the stars in the icing when you ice so they look flat, so it looks more printed than like candy on top. And then carefully do your um, red and blue painting around it. That would be gorgeous. Yeah, and on the chocolate too. So she demos it on the chocolate. And I was like, I can't, I want to see. I haven't seen it yet. I can't imagine how, what that looks like. But when I just did the rose gold, it looks exactly like what they did in the video. Only I did mine on royal icing. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and I will let you know, um, we're not going to start Halloween next week because a lot of the Michael stores don't have the cutters in that we're going to use for our two tutorial Tuesday. So I think I'm going to find another one of the new products that I have in my cookie studio and do another night next week where we just demo something new for you guys to check out. Okay. Because I have so many things that I brought in, but then we got into doing a certain line of projects or cookies or whatever. And this was our last week to do minis. This was the month of minis um, in August. And let's see, I think, do we have two more Tuesdays this month? Let me look real quick. Yeah, we have two more Tuesdays. So we'll do another experimental project for one of our Tuesdays. So I imagine that will be next week. And then I have something I'm working on. Um, it won't be on a mini, though. It's just something I'm working on that I hope is going to be ready and bomb-proof by the 30th so that we can do that on the 30th before we head into September, okay? And then I did also want to quickly mention tonight, we have two guest members that are going to come on and do some demos for us in the month of September on Tuesday nights. So if any of you are familiar with Barbie Kudalik that's in our group, she's one of the two Bs. She is going to come on on Tuesday night, September 13th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, our normal cookie snack attack time. And she's going to give us some great tips on photography using your telephone and not needing to buy all of the things to get good cookie photos. So Barbie is going to share that with us on Tuesday, September 13th. And then two Tuesdays after that on September 27th, Becky Norton, who is the other B in two Bs, is going to come on with us on Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I guess it'll still be Daylight Time. Um, and she's going to show us how to preserve cookies. So try to have a cookie ready to go if you want to do that after Becky's demo. 
have a cookie ready to go that you want to do a demo for because this week I'll be setting up in the Amazon shop which is pinned to the featured items in the Cookie Snack Attack group, our, our Amazon shop. Becky has given me a list of supplies that she prefers to use when preserving cookies. So I'll be pinning that in the Amazon shop. You guys can take a look at that, maybe get some things ordered in. So that will be our two special guests for September. We're going to do some photography tips using your phone on the down low, not super expensive, and getting good cookie photos. And on the 27th, we're going to do preserving cookies um, with Becky Norton, the other B and two Bs. OK, so I hope you guys are excited about that. Both of these topics are things that I've been getting a lot of messages for recently for people wanting to preserve cookies and um, do that sort of thing. So I hope you will be enjoying that. And then we've got some other guests lined up for October, but I'll tell you more about that later. And I want to tell Barbie and Becky both, thank you so much for being willing to come on and do these demos. And a shout out to Debbie, who is in our group. Um, Debbie Simmel. Debbie, are you on here tonight with and um, Cindy? Debbie at our retreat is going to be teaching us how to make hot cocoa bombs in person using those cool three-part molds. So thank you for being willing to do that. And then Allison Watts, shout out to you that's in our group. At the retreat, she's going to share with us actually creating a 3D, um, a 3D cookie cutter from scratch. We're going to give her a design and she's going to walk us all the way through from beginning to printing so that we will get our printers out of the box. Some of us are just super, super visual learners when it comes to technology. So we're going to start here and she's going to help us out and I'm going to bring extra chocolate. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for turning in for two Tutorial Tuesday. I am, again, very apologetic that this morning turned out the way it did. There is just no way for me to predict when technology is going to be my friend and when it's going to turn on me. So the best we can do is smile through it and roll with it. Luckily, right now, everything is working great. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial tonight. And I will be seeing you later on this week. And if you're going to the retreat, please make sure that you're checking everything in that group so you can get your forms done, just any last little things that we need to do so that we can just enjoy talking about all the things we're going to do before we actually go to retreat in October. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great evening.